one organization. Global Financial Integrity says the leak has brought to light, quote, a global shadow financial system for the rich and the powerful. Heather Lowe is their legal counsel and director of government affairs, and she joins us now from our Washington bureau. Welcome to the program. Uh, as Thank we just you. heard there from President Obama, a lot of people know that this is nothing new, not exactly surprising no. to learn details about this, you know, quote unquote, shadow financial system, as your organization calls it. Uh, so what should we do with this, this information from this massive leak? Well, obviously, there are going to be individual cases that are going to proceed from this information, but I think we need to look at the big picture here. And the big picture here is that we currently have worldwide a structure of anonymous companies and secrecy tax haven jurisdictions which allow the movement of illicit money around the world. And we need to correct that. And the problem, one thing that I know you point out too is that, you know, the U.S. is no bastion of transparency when it comes to this. The U.S., in fact, is one of the easier countries uh, to move dirty money around. Is that right? That is absolutely correct. You can create an anonymous company in any state in the United States very easily. People point out Delaware, Nevada, and Wyoming because you tend to see them actually marketing that. Um, but if you take, for example, the state of Iowa, you need only four things to create a company in Iowa. You need the, the name of the business, you need the number of authorized shares, the name of the, and the address of the person incorporating the company, that could be a lawyer, and the name and the address of the registered agent, which could also be a lawyer. There's no indication when you create a company in Iowa of who owns or controls it. Mm. And that's really frightening. And that's general for pretty much most of the United States. So do you expect any significant change to come out of this? Because when we talk specifically about the U.S., I mean, we know that power and money go hand in hand. So can we expect politicians to, to help change the rules? Mm. I certainly hope so. There is legislation pending in both houses of Congress called the, law, the Incorporation Transparency and Law Enforcement Assistance Act, and we really need to get members of Congress to rally behind that legislation. It would require states to collect information about who owns and controls companies when they're formed, which is the most responsible and effective way to deal with this issue. Yeah, th there's one other thing. I was reading your, your, your own report on all sure. of this, and, and you raise a, a fascinating thing, too, and that is the damage being done to developing economies yeah. with the outflow of capital going to these nefarious uh, uh, havens, if you like. Tell us about that and the damage being done. Sure. Um, our estimates are that about $1.1 trillion is leaving developing countries annually in illicit mm -hmm. money. Um, we can't tell exactly where that's ending up, but we know it's a lot of it's certainly going to tax havens and going to places like the United States, which for a lot of, of other countries is actually a tax haven. Um, that's hugely damaging economically for these countries. Uh, the figures that we have are based on, on trade statistics from the IMF and the World Bank and the UN, and so we're pretty confident in the, in the data there. All right, uh, Heather Lowe, we're going to have to leave it there with uh, the Global Financial Integrity Group. Appreciate you ha having you. Thanks Thank so much you. for your time.